Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to my office. Uh, yeah, it's not it's not really my office, but but it's where I smoke when the weather is too bad or too cold to be outdoors. And uh, today the weather has been really bad. I think it stopped raining now, but it's been raining and it's been uh, quite windy. It was okay in the morning when I let the horses out, but uh, around lunchtime or a bit before it started to get windy and raining. Two degrees above freezing. Uh, so it's really the worst kind of weather. Today I'm smoking uh, Mick McQuaid plug in one of my homemade ash pipes. The pipe isn't much to look at so I won't bother showing it. I've shown it before. But Mick McQuaid is nice. Uh, it's a plug Burley based with some alcohol and almond topping, probably whiskey, I guess. Since McQuaid is originally a, an Irish tobacco. Did I say it was discontinued? If I did, I'll say it again, it's discontinued. Uh, I have a few plugs in my cellar but, but uh, I don't smoke it too often to make them last as long as possible. Uh, what has happened since I last made a video? I've uh, turned 50, did that last Sunday, exactly a week today. I'll tell you about that in a moment. First I'll tell you about what I'm drinking. I'm drinking Glug. Blossa is just the name of the brand and the type of beverage is Glug. And it's uh, typically Swedish. It's like our version of, of uh, Glühwein, I think. It's basically hot or warm wine with spices in it. And, and we drink it uh, in December and at Christmas. Or maybe Glühwein is uh, the German version of Glug, I don't know. And uh, it's usually made with uh, red wine, but it, it can be made with white wine as well. Uh, the one I'm drinking is alcohol free because I have to go and fetch the kids later today. But, but usually it's uh, some alcohol in it, which I think adds to the flavor. And uh, yeah, it's nice, it's uh, spicy uh, uh, and uh, you drink it warm. Uh, on days like this you need to drink something warm. And it, it'll heat you up a lot more than uh, coffee will. And it's very sweet. It's not sour at all like wine.
and it goes reasonably well with the pipe. Yeah, me turning 50. Uh, last weekend I went away with my wife to Uppsala, which is just north of uh, Stockholm. We met there, we were both, both studying in Uppsala, it's a big university city. Got a, maybe not the oldest, but the second oldest university in Sweden. And uh, we walked down memory lane, you might say. Went to our old university, which we didn't recognize much of because they've done a lot of building and it's grown a lot since we graduated. And uh, we stopped at a couple of houses we rented when we were studying. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. I was quite stressed before going there, but, but, but uh, once we got on the train, things calmed down and I, I started to enjoy myself. And uh, yeah, turning 50 wasn't that bad. And my worry was that I wouldn't get here. And now that I've passed 50, I don't see any reasons not to keep going. So we'll see how high the numbers will go. Uh, and during our visit to Uppsala, we went and had a look at the horse we were interested in buying. Uh, and we decided to buy him. Uh, and uh, we actually got him here. The owner drove him down to here uh, yesterday. So he's, he's in the meadow with our pony at, at, at the moment. Well, to stay. And uh, his uh, Shetland pony, so he's really small. We wanted something small uh, who doesn't eat a lot because the basic reason we got him was that our horse needed some company. But we still wanted someone, a horse that ha had been driven. And he, he has been driven a lot, he's been a, a pony trotter. Race, racing and stuff. Uh, so we intend to use him on the roads and in the forest as well. But he, he's not going to get as much exercise as he did when he was competing. But he's 15 now so I, I don't think he'll, he'll mind relaxing a bit. I've shot some footage of, of him and our pony. And I'll put it at the end of the video. And, uh, yeah, Christmas is getting closer and closer. I don't know if you have your Christmas plans made up. I have my Christmas plans made up. And I'm actually going to spend Christmas alone. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm be with the dog and I like the horses and uh, but my wife and kids are going up to my wife's parents uh, to spend Christmas with them and uh, my wife's sister with family. And I don't want to go there. 
it'll just stress me out completely. Uh, so I, 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 I'd much rather stay at home and uh, face Christmas alone uh, than spend it with uh, the in-laws. And they're not bad people, it's just me. I get stressed around Christmas and it's okay when they come here to celebrate but I don't want to go to their place because th you can't get away from it. At least at home I feel some sense of security and, and comfort. And Christmas alone isn't bad. It, it's I've done it before. Uh, every second year she goes up. So, I don't know, maybe this is my third Christmas alone. And I've, I've also spent uh, Christmases as on uh, psychiatric wards. Uh, that might sound really bad, but it, it's actually not. Uh, it was maybe just the one Christmas, no, two Christmases. Uh, and uh, I don't know, there's a special feeling on the ward. Uh, the food is extra nice and yeah, it, 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 at least where I was staying they, they managed to get some Christmas spirit in there. Uh, and not too much of it, just a little. So. Christmas at the hospital wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not much for spending Christmases with, with my family actually. I remember when I was after uh, graduating from high school and before I started university. I was working on a hospital uh, just as not I had no training at all but I was helping out with the pa patients and stuff like that and I worked Christmas then as well and it was also nice uh, not only because you got extra pay but I don't know it, it was nice trying to create some Christmas spirit for those who are staying in the hospital with old people. Uh, some of them had lost their marbles, but, but, but uh, yeah, still tr trying to make it a bit Christmassy around them and for the family, families who came and visited on. Uh, Christmas. We celebrate Christmas here on Christmas Eve, not on Christmas Day like uh, in, in the US and the UK. And uh, yeah, I'll, I won't be doing anything special at Christmas, I'll just uh, try to keep my days ordinary, do the chores I usually do and yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, I think, I don't know how long I've been going on but it feels like I've been on for a while so I'll stop here. If you've uh, stuck with me all this way, thanks for watching and uh, thanks to those who left on the way as well. Uh, hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.